years have passed since our wedding day. I can hardly believe it. I still remember it as if it were yesterday. The galas and the parties and the music. What I can still remember is your father's face. Horrified at the idea of you marrying a penniless young upstart with nothing more to offer than a dream called Camelot. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Father couldn't stand you. He found you quite impossible. Oh, I probably was. But you've got to admit I've improved since the days of my arrogant youth. Thanks to you, all that I've become, Gwyn, all that I've accomplished is because of you. Oh, Arthur. I am so looking forward to this holiday alone with you. Ah, uh, yes. Well, uh, <clears throat> I've been meaning to talk to you about that. What, may I ask, Sir Bryant, is the reason for all of this fanfare? Do you get the feeling that the Queen isn't happy to see us? I would say she sounds distinctly unhappy. We have come, milady, to make sure that your journey to Cannonwald is a safe and restful one. How thoughtful, Sir Bryant. But I prefer to travel <coughs> alone with my husband. Ah, uh, that does pose a problem, my lady. A problem? Nonsense, Bryant. Whatever my Queen desires, she shall have. Company, wide box column, shields ho! Let the procession begin. You see, my love, your wish is my command. Arthur, a tender moment behind a wall of shields is not exactly what I had in mind. Why wasn't she pleased? I can't imagine. <laughs> there is no greater challenge for any man than trying to read the mysteries of a woman's heart. Cannonwald, our first home. Oh, Arthur, how I love this place. I always feel so peaceful here, so safe. It's all so lovely. What a wonderful place for a honeymoon. You're planning a honeymoon, Rowan? No, Arn. Not my honeymoon. Oh, good. King Arthur's and Queen Guinevere's. This is where they had their wedding and where they spent the first year of their marriage, here at Cannonwald. Isn't it just the most romantic place you've ever seen? Well, it was built by fine craftsmen, that's for sure. It's a beautiful place, isn't it, Valiant? The battlements are strong, the rooms are filled with elegance and comfort. Cannonwald is everything a castle should be. The changing of the guard! Sir Bryant will have our hides if we're late. Sir Bryant, right there, in that stand of oaks. Animals, perhaps? No, I don't think so. There's something about the way the shadows are moving, something suspicious. Probably just some of our own men. But it's time to check in with the perimeter guards anyway. Trumpeter, summon the watch. There's Percy, Logan, Sadler, Colin, and William. Where's Eustace? He's nowhere in sight. Where could he be, Sir Bryant? Stand at the ready, Rowan. Just in case. Another letter from your mother? She wants to know when you're planning to give her a grandchild. I will do so when it suits me. And my queen, of course. And not a moment before. Perhaps the moment should come sooner rather than later? Perhaps. We have spent the best part of a decade building a new order, Gwyn. It may be time to turn our attention to the creation of a new generation. One which will continue to build the dream of Camelot after we've gone. Enter. My liege, the Queen's cousin, young Eustace, has disappeared from his watch. Arthur, what could have happened? I'm sure it's nothing. Don't worry, Gwyn. I'll see to it myself. Bryant, what sort of problem do we have? I suspect it could be a serious one, Your Majesty. Very serious. Something heavy's been dragged through here. See how the grass has been flattened? What is it on? It is Eustace, Your Majesty. Oh, my God. He's been shot in the back. This arrow shaft. I have seen the pattern before. It is a signature of Stefan of Albans. Oh, 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 how flattering. 
to know that after all these years, I've not been forgotten. Stefan, think carefully about what you're doing. This is treason. Oh, I've been thinking, dear Arthur, about a king who demands that his barons regard the peasant vermin under their feet as equals. Since you love equality so much, I shall let you taste its bite. Death is the great equalizer, is it not? No! Die, you fool, and know that I'll be back for Excalibur and for Camelot itself. You, bring Merlin. Run, man, run for your life! What has become of the king's attackers? Either dead or driven off, but at a price Camelot cannot afford to pay. King Arthur! There are others who need your help, Valiant. The king is in good hands. I warn you, this will hurt. Oh! Arthur, the blade has been poisoned. Dear Lord, don't let it be so. How much trouble am I in, old friend? A great deal, I'm afraid. You've analyzed the poison. Certainly it cannot be without an antidote. Yes, there is an antidote, the leaves of the hawthorn bush. When I've finished here, I'll send some men into the woods to search for it. No. No one is to leave the castle until the reinforcements arrive from Camelot. We have but a few men left, and Stefan is a cunning enemy. Woods will still be full of his troops. You've sent word to Gawain, haven't you, Merlin? I carry a pigeon almost an hour ago. He should be here with an army from Camelot within a day or two. It may not be soon enough, Arthur. Valiant, are you sure this is the right thing to do? The king has commanded that no one leave the castle. The poison has clouded his judgment, Arne. When we've returned with the Hawthorne, everyone will thank us. Queen Guinevere and certainly King Arthur. Thank us. He'll probably knight us. That peddler sold you a poor poison. Arthur should have died instantly. Be that as it may, there are still possibilities. Those two just mentioned Guinevere. That has given me a rather intriguing idea. Brian, we shall not have to storm the walls of Arthur's castle to claim his kingdom. We shall take it from within. I think we have plenty, Valiant. We should be getting back. Just a few more, Arne. The king's life is at stake. We must be sure we have enough. <coughs> Valiant, look! <coughs> Arne, are you all right? Here, take it quickly. The basket's leaking. Please, be quiet. Do something, Arn. Make it settle down. If Stefan's men discover us, we'll pay for it with our lives. There, there now. There's nothing to cry about. We'll keep you safe. Ruan! Sir Brian! Someone open the gates! What in heaven's name are those two doing outside? Open the gates, quickly! How dare you disobey the king's orders? We did what we thought necessary to save his life, Sir Bryant. We wish to become knights someday. Isn't that what would be expected of us? That we risk our lives to preserve the realm, no matter how dangerous the deed? Before a man can choose to break the rules, Valiant, he must first understand them. Tell me, Valiant, have you brought with you anything more than turmoil and upheaval? Indeed we have. We've come with Hawthorne. Nearly a quarter bushel. Will it be enough to save the king? Possibly. But I do not expect it will be enough to save you from his wrath. Here, let me hold him. What do you think we should do with him? Uh, Guinevere oversees the care and placement of art and objects of beauty within the kingdom. I suggest you deliver the baby to her. After all, have you ever seen a more delicate or beautiful work of art? 
I need more hot compresses and blankets, and more wood for the king's pyre. Hawthorne, oh, thank God! Merlin, where did you find it? It's best we leave that explanation for later, milady. In the meantime, I believe Arne has a surprise for you. Something you were wishing for just this morning, I believe. A baby? for taking me in. Make way for Her Royal Majesty, Queen Guinevere. Welcome to Cannonwald. Lady... Catherine, Your Majesty, daughter of Lord Oxley, your Baron in Staffordshire. I should say my father was Baron of Staffordshire. Our castle was attacked by Stephen of Albans. He killed my father. He killed everyone except for... It can't be. He's safe. Oh, you sweet thing. I was afraid I'd never see you again. Is this your child? No. His parents had already been killed when I found him. Stefan's men were everywhere. I, I didn't know what to do. I bundled him into a basket and sent him floating downstream. Then I ran upstream to lead the soldiers away from him. My hope was that someone would see him on the river. Someone who would take him in and keep him safe. Yes, that was my prayer. Don't tell me. For the Lady Catherine. Pile it with the others. Could you please give these to Lady Catherine with my warmest regards? What is it like to live at Camelot? To be a queen? There is nothing about it that does not suit me. I've always known it to be my destiny. To live in grace and dignity. To touch beauty wherever I lay my hand. I am indeed blessed. And Arthur, dear Arthur, my husband, my soul mate. Do you always have to carry it around? The crown, I mean? A and Excalibur, must you take them both wherever you and King Arthur go? Absolutely. Excalibur is the symbol of Camelot itself. Wherever Arthur travels, it travels with him. But for now, until Arthur has recuperated, it is in my care. What lovely flowers and fruit, and is that perfume? Yes, gifts from the gentlemen of the court for the Lady Catherine. How sweet. And as your majesty requested, I have Merlin's report on King Arthur's condition. He is resting comfortably. Has he recovered? Is he well enough to see anyone? No. He is still gravely ill. How disappointing. I was so hoping to be able to pay my respects. I know I must be burying you in questions, but I'm just so afraid. Lady Catherine, believe me, you have nothing to fear as long as you stay within the castle walls. But what if Stefan uses fire arrows, like he did on my father's castle? Is this gate our only means of escape? Hardly. There are always hidden gates in a fortress, my lady. You have no idea how much safer I would feel if you could show me where some of those might be. It's a classic siege technique, Merlin. One of the first Sir Gawain ever taught us about. Enter your enemy's castle and defeat him from within. Please, Merlin, listen to me. I have to talk to you about Lady Catherine. We will talk, Rowan. You have my word. But right now, I must see to Arthur. She was carrying a small bundle. It must have been the baby. Anne was new to my service, but she always appeared so sweet-tempered, so kind. I heard the other servants talking. It seems she and her husband are childless. She's yearned for a baby for years. And you say she was seen leaving the castle? Yes. She's probably taken the baby to one of those deserted cottages just outside the walls. Stefan's men could be lurking out there. Anne and the baby are in great danger. We must find them immediately. But Sir Bryant will never allow us to leave. Then we won't ask his permission. Come! That's odd. It almost 
almost looks like some sort of signal. Now I am being silly, seeing plots and chimney smoke. It's probably nothing more than a servant stirring the coals. We'll find Anne and the baby and be back before we're even missed. I saw movement here. Spread out! Stefan, I have the queen! <gasps> oh. Well done, little sister. And what of Arthur? The king still lives. Indeed. Well, that is a problem which can easily be remedied. Yes, thanks to a silly queen who lost her heart to a howling baby. You viper! My, my, Guinevere. What a temper! No! A key to the very heart of Camelot. Thank you, milady. We have no more need for the queen or this baby. Let's do the same to them as we did with the child's parents. Kill them and be done with it! Patience, Cat. There'll be plenty of time for that once Arthur is dead. For now, milady, I shall keep you as insurance. After all, there is nothing Arthur would not sacrifice for the sake of his precious Guinevere. Hold me if you choose, Stefan, but I warn you, don't turn your back on me. Tie her up and post a guard. The rest, follow me. We've a king to dispose of. <laughs> Brian, you open the main gate. Catherine, come with me. To arms! We're under attack! Sound the alarm! Hold the gate! Valiant! Stefan is holding the queen somewhere outside the castle walls. We'll see the Guinevere. And I'll keep an eye on Lady Catherine. Now which way? This way, I think. That must be Gawain. The reinforcements from Camelot have arrived. Hurry, Arn! Listen, they're getting closer. We're no match for an army from Camelot. You deal with Arthur. He's in the chamber at the end of the corridor. And I... I'll take care of getting Excalibur. Gawain, for Arthur and Camelot! <gasps> Forget you saw me and I may let you live. After all these years as the great warrior king, what a sorry end to die in bed. Merlin, now let me see. Which of you shall I destroy first? I'm an old man, no threat to such as you, Stefan. True, there's no need for me to trouble myself with you now. Stefan, can't you let an old enemy rest in peace? So it's rest you want, is it, Arthur? It's all I need, now that Merlin's medicine has done its job so well. In that case, allow me to send you to your eternal sleep, my lord. Touch me, and you'll never see Guinevere again. What have you done with her? You pigs! You would dare to hurt our queen? Valiant! Yield in the name of King Arthur! Arthur. Oh, Arthur. It 
didn't turn out to be the quiet anniversary we'd hoped for, did it, Gwen? My marriage to you has never been quiet, Arthur. Why should my anniversary be any different? I think he wants you, my lady. No more than I want him. You shall have a home, little one. Safe within the walls of Camelot. I'm very displeased with you, Valiant, and with you too, Arne. You disobeyed a direct command from your king. If your majesty, please. We were afraid you were going to die. We were only trying to do what any of your knights would have done. We chose to show courage in the face of danger, your majesty. The line between courage and recklessness can be a very fine one, Valiant. As it turns out, Merlin was able to reverse the effects of the poison without using the Hawthorne. You endangered your king, your queen, and Excalibur itself for no reason. I understand that you risked your life for mine. You were a youth of great courage. Learn to temper that with reason, and someday you will be a most extraordinary man. One who could become an outstanding knight. Thank you, your majesty. Did you hear that, Arne? An outstanding knight. King Arthur himself believes in me. 